Hey there everyone, in this video we will be talking about how you can transfer your genuine Microsoft Office license. Let's say you have formatted your system or you bought new system. So in that case, you maybe you would like to transfer your license from one system to another. Or sometimes it may be possible that you no more longer want to use a particular system and you would like to install your office license to new computer. So let's figure it out. Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and you are watching Technoholic. If you are new to this channel, I would consider you to subscribe it as we keep on bringing this kind of video that going to elevate your experience by making you more proficient in productivity content. Okay, so now let's talk about the process, how you can transfer your office license. But before that, let me talk about the kind of version of office that generally comes. So basically there are two versions which is known as perpetual or you sometimes call them office 2021 office 2024 or office 19 then there is a subscription based model for example office 365 the difference between both these type is in case of these perpetual you own software so license going to be with you forever however when we talk about the subscription based model, which is Office 365, in that case, you know, you are subscribing to the software and then software will be there till, uh, you know, a certain tenure for whom you already have made payment. But the good thing here is in both the cases, the process of transferring Microsoft Office license is almost same. So without further ado, let me quickly show you how you can achieve that. Okay, so to do this, we are now in computer screen. And the first thing here we need to do is we need to type office.com. Okay, and then I would suggest you to log in with your office credential and especially with the one that have got your office license. So once you logged in, the next thing here we need to do is we need to click here on the top which says install apps and then what this link will do, this link will take you to your Microsoft account, okay? And then um, here you need to cancel it actually because I am not looking for installing it in a new device rather than I would like to manage my devices, okay? So this one is subscription based. So if I go here and then click here right to install this down arrow which shows me all the devices where you know my license is there and then I have installed it but let's say I would like to install it in different device and I know that the last system is the one uh, which now became obsolete and I do not want to so in that case what I can do here is I can simply sign out once you sign out now you have got one free license now what we need to do then next is you need to go to the newer system where you would like to install it and i would suggest you to do the same you need to go to office.com and then click on installed apps once you do that you will again redirect it to account.microsoft.com and not to worry guys, I'm going to also provide you the direct link in the description of this video so that you can directly reach to this page. Now let's say this is your new system and then we already have clicked there on install app and now all we need to do is we need to click on install and what basically this will do is this will download a small office setup. Now since we already have uninstalled the license from my previous device, now we downloaded the new office setup all you need to do is you need to run the setup and install office in your new device now after the microsoft office got downloaded the next thing what you need to do is you need to run any office app so let me quickly show you how so i would say running any office app is pretty straightforward we need to click on menu button and let me open microsoft word okay so now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna click on account and then here you will see either you already have license configured or you need to do sign in. So let me click here on switch license and then let's and here I'm going to log in through my office credential. So let me quickly do that. And here we go. So here I can see whether you are using subscription based model or you have like a perpetual license you will have option to select like which one with which license you would like to go. 
for example i would like to go with subscription based one because that one is more latest and up to date and now here you can see we have successfully set up license in my new device so it really doesn't matter whether you are transferring a perpetual license like 16 19 21 and 24 or you are transferring Office 365 license. So you just saw, right? We have option to select both. So in this way, guys, we have successfully configured or transferred our Microsoft Office license from one device to another. That's also a wrap up this video. I hope guys, you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please make sure you subscribe to Technoholic. And if you have got any question or you want to give your suggestion or feedback, you are very welcome. Please utilize the comment section down below. I will definitely try to respond to that as soon as possible. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.